So Daniel's gone to work, um, if you're not familiar and you're new to my channel, Daniel is my son. Um, one of the jobs I've done actually is I've been sorting out some paperwork. Not sure if we'll go into this in any more detail, um, if you're interested or not, but we did actually um, have our one of our cars actually retrieved on Friday. Um, so they had all the manuals and everything and uh, the service history on the vehicle. Um, they wanted to pay us for it. It's somebody that Daniel knows, it's another garage. And um, what they do is they um, do cars up. They either use them for courtesy cars or they're there um, if someone is desperate for a vehicle, if say the car that they've taken into the garage needs too much work, I'm hoping, and I said this to the owner because the owner came out with an MOT tester and um, we got it, well Daniel got it started, it started okay but it, it was a little bit of a shock because it was in the garage for two months. I hadn't seen it. Um, hubby was supposed to have got this vehicle picked up, but then he ended up in hospital, so it didn't get done. So we just um, sort of donated it to the garage, which they were fine about. They keep insisting paying us, but I thought if we take money for it, then um, I feel guilty if it didn't get to the garage or something. So what I've done this time is because the Picasso, which we called Little Silver, um, we have got all the MOTs and service records because we've had the Picasso from absolutely brand new. We'd had it 13 or 14 years, I think. So I went through all the paperwork and used my um, staple distractor here and my little pot to take all the receipts off. Then I've got my stapler. Um, to restaple sheets yeah I thought well I thought it was only going to take me a few minutes but it did take me about 15-20 minutes I think I got a little bit emotional that's why I didn't um, sort of bring this up a little bit earlier wait until Daniel had gone because no I wasn't in tears or anything but obviously um, it was um, Christopher's Pride and Joy um because it was the one car we had from brand new we've had a previous vehicle we had that was an ex demonstration model and it was six months old and it was in the showroom but this was a brand new one when we had it so i've got all the been all through the paperwork this is just things like breakdown and things like that and um you know um insurance papers this is the vehicle document i tried to get some more of these but this is the only one i could actually um get i know you can get them from amazon so i did carry on with my basics and i was going to put music to this video but i decided to do a um voice over to fill you in on my day um, today we are getting the Virgin actually transferred over to my name and with advice it was actually cheaper to be a new customer so um, with text messages and emails they forwarded a complete new package I'm just videoing it here luckily we didn't need to have an engineer out and use all the cables due to the fact it fixes into the original um, cables for the router and the box. In between, I have been painting these boxes. This is one of those projects I've been putting off. So this video may be um, a bit brief, but I am doing other things in between and sometimes these videos um, will be clumped together over you know sort of a few days 
um, here um, one of my jobs on my to-do list today was to clean out the fridge because I want to go food shopping um, tomorrow so I'm pulling everything out giving it a good clean and everything like that luckily a lot of the things unclip and obviously pull out so it's a lot easier for cleaning I like to do this regularly um, but here we are where I've actually finished the fridge yes it is empty like I said um, due to the fact we are going food shop tomorrow so that's why I wanted to get it cleaned it's like rubbish you know I tend to go around the house um, when it's um, rubbish day but depending on whether it's recyclable or say general I make sure I get all the bins emptied and filled probably the recycle bin anyway or whatever bin it is this um, container was in Daniel's bedroom that's another video that will be coming up um, and he wasn't using it so what I did was I arranged um, my granddaughter's sort of little crafty bits and um, pencil crowns sharpener and little crafty bits um, that I've bought ready for when she comes so I can just pull this out I do have another little wooden container that's behind one of the houses that holds you know spare books that um, are not in use at the moment and funny enough this fits well in the paper rack where our books are and it all matches so something else that I organized which I'm really pleased with and the last thing I did was because I got um, my son's bed in um, washed dried aired and everything I put it straight back on the bed it has got late but hopefully you know this might give you um, an idea to get something done anyway hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye